I'm down at Castle SB and I'm attempting to find all the giant Lego brick animals. So there's a Hawaiian goose, there's a flamingo, there's a red breasted goose, there's a guillemot, there's a frog, there's a kingfisher, there's a mallard, there's an otter. I'm not too sure of that boy there, I know it, I know his name. And there's a dragonfly, so hopefully I'll be able to find all of these. And this is the Hawaiian goose uh, down at Castle SB, Hawaiian Lego goose. And this is the real thing. These are quite rare in the world. And this is Natalie the Nanny. And there's a lot of noise going on here at Castle Espe. The weather is rubbish, but that's the way it goes. And I think I've spotted my second Lego creature. This is Flavia the Flamingo. Or he is. Bruce, the red breasted. Comes from Russia and Bulgaria. And here he is. Well, I remember coming to Castle Espy and seeing one of these uh, red breasted geese for the first time, and I just could not believe it. This is Chicky the Spoony, uh, Spoon Bill Sandpiper. I thought this, whenever I was talking about this one earlier, I thought it was a guillemot. <laughs> dear, oh dear. Hours and hours of work of Lego. You notice the, the spoon shape of the uh, the builder. I'm told uh, this exhibition of uh, Lego animals um, is going to be finished in early April, maybe the second or third of April, and it possibly will not be coming uh, returning to Castle Espy. Some of the animals have been damaged and whatnot, and uh, they, they are exhibited uh, across the water. Uh, wetland centres. So this uh, might be your last opportunity to uh, actually get down to see these on the eye. I you to get down here. This is the from with his information over there. And this is Lottie the Otter. Black-headed gulls are, are going daft. And this is Chris the Crane.
And I didn't know that we had any cranes in the whole of the UK. I don't think we do. Um, maybe in parks or private collections. Chris the crane. Looking out of the limestone pavilion here, across this lake, and there's a, the Lego Kingfisher once again. And I have actually seen Kingfisher up at the top end of this lake, up to my left. And there's the friendly mallard waiting for me at the top of the hill here. This is, this is Mac the Mallard. section looking out over the lakes and Castle Espe and the various heights and there is a megalithic type uh, hut that has been uh, reconstructed to give you some idea how things were in the Stone Age. And this is Kate friendly kingfisher. See we have damage down at the, uh, the its feet. It's raining and I am getting soaked 